Good evening. Cold Lake residents may not have to leave the city for appointments at a radi radiology clinic in the near future. This as a local doctor has already started the process of opening one up in Cold Lake. Now the state of the art facility has a price tag of about two and a half million dollars. Fraser Snowden has more. Uh, the plan is that we want to be functional by the end of the summer. Dr. Chander Gupta plans on opening the clinic and is hopeful that the city of Cold Lake will help offset the costs of the building. He says there is great need for the facility in northeastern Alberta. Since I've been working here, I have seen uh, all kinds of challenges and all kinds of uh, um, things we, we need to take care of in this region. That's why I plan to uh, set up this uh, radiology clinic. Dr. Gupta purchased this piece of land behind me along Highway 28 in Cold Lake North. This puts it within close proximity to the Cold Lake Hospital. Once up and running, the clinic would have a variety of services available to the Lakeland region, including ultrasounds, bone density scans, x-rays, and eventually mammograms. Another benefit, more doctors. Once doctors know that they have good uh, uh, services which they can ba which they can utilize to diagnose and treat their patients, definitely they would feel more comfortable, more confident in coming to Cold Lake and area. Mayor Craig Copeland says this will be a service that will allow the city to provide better health care for the region. We need to in improve the level of health care in Coal Lake. And so our council has always been about lobbying to try to get more money for the Coal Lake Hospital. And uh, this individual stepped out privately to invest in Cold Lake. Council will look at the proposal in their next meeting. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Well, today marks the end of Canada's 12-year mission in Afghanistan as the remaining troops begin their long journey home. Flags were at half-mast at Lloydminster City Hall this morning, along with cities across Canada. It was all to symbolize the sacrifice of our men and women serving overseas. I think it's an important day uh, that we can both uh, commemorate and uh, you know, welcome our troops home, commemorate those that have uh, served and some of those that uh, have lost, lost their lives uh, in this mission. 162 Canadians lost their lives in the war. Troops spent the final three years training their Afghan counterparts. Now we will have the full story on the end of Canada's mission later in the show. The gymnasium at Lakeland College attracts large crowds throughout the year. And next season, these spectators will be sitting in style. A quarter of a million dollars was donated from Service Credit Union today to go towards new bleachers. Now, staff are on hand to deliver the good news to the college, and Garth Warner from Service Credit Union says it wasn't easy deciding who would get the money, but says he feels strongly about supporting education, and athletics is a part of that. All students take a great deal of pride in their sports teams, and to build the culture and the enthusiasm for, um, for the college is, is very difficult to put a value on. Now, Phil Allen says it's a great advancement for the and athletic the fans department have been and for, for hosting years, events. Are really uncomfortable. When are you going to do something about it? And we've never had the dollars to be able to do it. Uh, and, and I think from a community point of view, it is also going to allow the community to do some things. For example, it's going to allow us to host maybe a, a summer games. Now, the new bleachers will accommodate about 500 people and will be installed this summer. Well, the Border City will be painted green this weekend as Rotary Club is once again hosting an Irish pub night on March 15th. A little bit of green food coloring and a few fake accents and we have a heck of a good time. Now it's being billed as a night of fun and entertainment, bringing out the Irish spirit in everyone, but it's also raising money for the Lloydminster Community Youth Centre as they get set to move into the old RCMP building this summer. Fundraising drive right now, we've... Uh, in conjunction with the city, they've helped us out get a building, but with that building comes a whole lot of retrofitting and, and a big capital cost. Our club has always had a youth focus and um, we are well aware of the needs and the importance of the uh, youth centre and the role it serves in the community and we know that their uh, financing needs are, are significant at the moment. The past two years has raised more than $100,000. This is the third and final pub night raising money for the youth centre. 
Our goal this year would certainly to be to maximize. I mean, we're hoping for anywhere between thirty and forty thousand dollars that we can contribute again this year. As far as numbers, yes, our numbers have been uh, steadily increasing, and uh, there's days where we're having to try and fit. 50, 60 kids in a pretty small area, and with the newer facility, we know that those numbers are just going to keep increasing. This year's pub night is being held at the Stockade Convention Centre. Tickets for the event are available by calling Michelle Benning at 780-871-2637.